All right, so here we are with my 2012 Ford Escape, and it's showing some indicator lights and throwing some trouble codes. And we're gonna do some repairs on it. I figured I would record it. So there's the indicator lights. On the left-hand side, we got traction control. In the middle, we got ABS. And on the right-hand side, we have the brake light that's on. And so we've done some ODB diagnostics and it's throwing a Bravo 1342 code with, for control modules. And what we've done is uh, went through a, a bunch of online forums and it sounds like um, it's, it's usually the electronic brake electronic control module and what we've done just to verify that or to, re to rule out some other easy fixes would be the analog braking sensors on each of the wheel hubs. So we went around and sprayed all those with some brake cleaner, did it a couple of times, drove it a couple of times, uh, cleared the codes a couple of times, and each time the code just comes back uh, within a couple of seconds without even putting the car in drive. So unfortunately to fix um, the control module, which that's what it look, looks like, uh, you, you can't just pull it out and replace it with a control module that you order online or get from the auto parts store. You gotta reprogram it. And being a weekend warrior, do it yourself. Or uh, it was very difficult for me to to figure out in the time that I put in what software I would need and what hardware I would need. And from the look of it, it looked to be very pricey and it was going to be cumbersome. And so, luckily, I I found this website where you actually just pull the control module out of the car and then you uh, you send it in and. Uh, they will repair it for you and send it back to you. First thing I'll probably do is I'll pull those brake lines off. Oh, sorry, the battery powered off. And then I'll start breaking those bolts loose and trying to cover them up, make sure no dust or nasties get in there because it is your brake lines. Here we go. All right, so got a lot of the brake lines off. Um, they're still dripping, so a lot of liquid's coming out. I would hope that the caps would prevent that, but obviously that was a false hope or a, a novice level hope. The uh, modules attached to um, like a hinge bracket, and it looks like there's two, maybe uh, 15 millimeter bolts on there. We're gonna take that off, and then still got the uh, harness to detach, and then hopefully at that point, um, there might be one more um, bracket that we got to tackle and then we'll see if it comes out uh, The module and the pump has been removed uh, It took three bolts and one nut um, I wouldn't say that it was extremely difficult or hard. It was just cumbersome And so you can see I've capped off a lot of the brake fluid has leaked out by this point, but I've capped off all the brake lines. I did have to remove the brake line coming across in order to jimmy the pump out i did take it out and in that direction so i pulled that line forward i took off the harness which you can see is it flips down forward um so it comes up like that and attaches like that to the to the module i don't know if you see it comes up and attaches like that to the module so you have to flip up the bottom and then kind of shimmy it out i'm gonna i'm gonna bag that later since uh this compartment's so still dirty um and yeah, and that's it. So objective number one complete. You can see kind of what it looks like when it comes off. So that if you're trying to look um, inside. So these two bolt, these two bolts bolted to the driver's side. And then there was a, another bolt underneath on the driver's side that bolted. And then there was a third, um, there was a third nut that was attached to a threaded, um, threaded bolt that's that's still attached to the vehicle down here um so a total of four four items so um let's see the, the it mounts it mounts something like like this inside the vehicle so it'll go down in there like that and so you can see all the components that you kind of have to pull out where the one two three bolts go and then i'm going to swing around and then underneath where that additional nut was to pull it out and then to get it out we kind of, i kind of had to jimmy it like across the car to the passenger side ish get the harness off and then kind of gently pull it out all right so we got the module and pump separated 
there are some of these T-star bolts, uh, screws that are in there. Um, we used a T-15 uh, tool to get them out. And this part, this is the module itself. This goes to uh, upfix. And so uh, I'm gonna box that up and uh, send it on its way 